Ray Calais coming back. 23 is not uh, out here yet, but he's going to be in the mix. Um, so I think we got some guys to compete with Brandon for sure. Having Brandon's experience after a few months coming into camp now with a few months of experience on this team under his belt, what is that like for him? Oh, I think it's huge confidence builder for him. I mean, he looks he looks fast. He looks, you know, very decisive. We just did a drill down there, and uh, he put about three guys on the ground on one cut. So, I mean, he, he's going to be good, I think. Uh, you know, the great thing about this time around is you kind of know what to expect from the guys that are out there, right? I mean, we know a lot of the guys are going to be here. Uh, I think that uh, it's going to be easier from the standpoint of playing together at the start. Not, you know, we, we want to get off to a much better start than what we did last year, no question. Does Brandon have a little bit of an edge to him in that regard? Like, he knows he also has to contribute on offense to be safe on this roster. Yes, I believe he does. I think he's done a good job for the offense. That's something you'd have to ask Sean, but uh, I think he's done a really good job there so far learning what he needs to learn. How did you cope and manage through that, you know, the first half of last season when, when things weren't going, you know, uh, I knew I had to be calm because my wife wanted to actually come after you. So, you know, <laughs> if you want to be honest, dude, uh -huh. I mean, she, she was looking for you. But, uh, no, it was uh, – it was tough. It's something that I'd never experienced. Obviously, um, it was uh, it was a learning experience for me. But um, you know, I'm just glad that they finally started playing together, and we were a positive going into the second part of the season and then the playoffs. So I thought it was a, a real good testament to dealing with adversity, and they came out on the other end and, and worked their tails off. So it was good to see them do that for sure. What's your philosophy, just in general, I guess, on using rookies or maybe just leaning more on veteran guys? Well, I think, you know, if, if the rookie's capable and reliable and he's able to do the tasks that we're going to ask him to do, you're always looking for young guys. That's just how it is uh, in this game. But, uh, you know, you always also want someone that's reliable. And most of the time when the veterans have been out there, they know how to do it. Um, that's where the reliability factor comes in. So it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough group to crack, I think, in my opinion, just because there's so much experience now. Yeah, I think all those guys have done a really good job. You know, uh, Hardy's an excellent athlete, um, a little bit more power for um, the other kid. And I think Chris Garrett's another one. You know, he kind of had that, that red shirt year last year, but uh, you can tell he's more um, sure of what he's doing. So hopefully that can continue and hopefully we can get it going. Yep. Joe, when you, go ahead, Steve. Joe, when you first took this job, you mentioned you wanted to find somebody who could ring the bell in terms of like the ball to go on and all that. What's it like having basically look to watch that there looks like with some of the speed you've got in that group? Well, uh, it's good, right? I mean, you feel you feel much more comfortable. Um, I'm just glad to see Brandon Powell, a guy that works his tail off, finally, you know, be able to cash in. A lot of those guys I'm happy for, but I'm really happy for him because he'd had that kind of journeyman type career and, uh, you know, hopefully he's found himself a home now and, and I think, you know, there'll be some competition like we said, so we'll see how it goes. You said last year Couple something more, yeah. that made such a difference as a catalytic factor for you guys was that guys really wanted to block for Brandon. Yes. Season. Do you see that coming back in this time of year? Yeah, I, I definitely do. I think I think they have a, a, a better feel for the overall scheme. Um, and I think really now they have a better understanding of it and they know what to do. So regardless of who's back there, I think they're going to be productive and, and know a lot more about what we're doing schematically. If, if, you, if the receiver core is thin, then like Ben Skoronek needs to play more, get yep. snaps on offense. Does that is that going to impact how much he's available for you, or will he still have the same you know role with special teams? No, I, I think to play as hard as you can on both sides, where you're talking about offensively and the kicking game, you have to be fresh. So if that happens, then we're going to you know have some guys behind him that'll be able to pick it up. It might not be at that same position, but you've got to get production from whoever's out there. In, in terms of uh, the positional changes, uh, losing a guy like Troy Reader, who was very not just schematically, but emotionally invested in special teams. Where do you look to sort of replace in that regard? Well, you've got, you know, um, obviously, Boom, uh, Rose Boom, had as good a year in that second half as you could have. I mean, had a bunch of positive plays and really did a good job for us tackling-wise. But, um, you know, we've got some younger guys there, Hum, and um, also uh, Travas, you know. So we've got some young guys in there. Anthony Hines is another one. So. There'll be some guys in there, and it's good competition there also. Great. They did a great job of getting the right guys in there for sure. Thanks, guys. Thank awesome. You, Thank you. Joe. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. the competitiveness against the 
offense early on. What have you felt out there? Uh, I mean, I feel like everybody's up to speed, even the young guys. So uh, we're able to do that, um, play at an extremely high level, compete to make plays. And uh, I mean, this is the fun part about having, you know, playing football. Once everybody's got everything down and they're comfortable, um, you know, we're just out there trying to make plays. What was it like seeing that pick six from Bobby? Oh man, that was a great play. Uh, Bobby's been doing a lot of great things. He's been a great addition to the defense. And uh, I mean, as great of a play as it was, like once I seen who it was, like it was like uh, I expected to make those plays. What's your approach as a player after you come off an unsuccessful season as you had last year? How do you stay motivated? Uh, I mean, every year I just wipe the wipe the slate clean. So we're trying to rebuild it um, and just rebuild a new season. You know, it's going to look different. We got different guys here. So just putting it, putting everything back together. You know, we completely wiped the slate, and you know, after the ring ceremony, everybody just think about a new year and trying to go win another championship. Is there a different way you try to recreate that energy? You know, based on having the success that you had last season. Um, I mean, it's going to be different. You know, I don't think about it as like the same thing because everything's going to be different. We got different players, different leaders. I'm going to grab different forms of adversity. So, like I said, we're just trying to rebuild it and uh, work with what we have this year. What? Go ahead. Oh, uh, thanks, Sorry. Um, in the spring, you mentioned about just really wanting to make sure that you invested in some of these younger guys. You know, obviously starting with Robert Rochelle and then these young rookies who came in. But with Robert specifically, where have you seen him take the next step so far? Um, I mean, I don't want to say it in that sense because I mean they helped me as well. Uh, it's a it's a give, it's a transactional thing. They help me, I help them. Um, but I think he's just more comfortable. Um, that's the biggest thing about this league. Everybody is extremely talented. So the more reps you get, the more time you get in this league, I think the better everybody will be. So I think he's just more comfortable. He's always been a very talented player. He showed that last year. And um, even the young guys, you can tell they're coming into their own selves and just uh, they're b being more comfortable and, and going out there and making plays. Well, what, if, if anything, did you learn about yourself personally after going through the season you went through last season? Um, um, Nothing. I mean, you know, just being who I say I am when it's hard to be that, you know, uh, uh, being uh, consistent with, you know, watching film and being intentional about everything, whether I'm playing or not, or I'm in the game plan or not, and it paid dividends on the back half of the season. So uh, nothing really about myself. I'm just glad that I was able to be consistent uh, despite all the other stuff. David, was there, was there anything in particular that you worked on in the offseason? Um... No, I mean, I really just try and master my body in the off season. Uh, you know, any, anything I can do, any deficiencies I feel during the season, whether it's jumping, something like that, something I want to work on, I take that and, and try and add it into my game. And then uh, as we get into training camp, I try and turn that into football stuff. But uh, like off season stuff is really just trying to get my body as healthy as I can and really like rebuilding that armor. David, I know practice and game more, are two different things entirely, but it looks like you guys are rotating a lot, not just showing that position versatility, but you guys rotating on the outsides a lot as well. Um, does that stress the quarterback out a little bit when they know they got to counter someone new kind of every time they're going down your way? Um, you know, I think we all have different play styles, but I do think it is difficult because there's no catch on who's the nickel, who's the corner. You know, we can all move around and show our versatility. So I think that is difficult to game plan. All set? Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Starting off, good work day today. We got a day off tomorrow. A couple things I know you guys will be wondering about with Van Jefferson. Got a little knee tweak right there. He is gonna um, get a minor surgery tomorrow. Um, his timetable, you know, a few weeks. You know, we'll, we'll see what uh, what his availability looks like to start the season. But it was really positive news that, that we got on him. He's in good spirits. So we'll get uh, we'll get his knee cleaned up tomorrow. And then uh, you know, I know he's gonna attack the rehab the right way. The other thing you guys saw, we lessened Matthew's workload today. Really, when we look at it, we've got five weeks until September 8th. He's still feeling a little bit of pain. He could push through it. You guys have been out here. He's been throwing and competing in team settings. We felt like the smart thing was 
Uh, let's really just take it a week at a time. He, he ended up getting about 40 to 50 throws an individual. Uh, we didn't take part in the team activities, and that's really more a result of he's got so much experience. Um, the most important thing is for him feeling good and healthy on September 8th. We could certainly push, and he could really grind through this, but that's not the goal with somebody like him. Um, it's not something that we're concerned about. We just want to be really smart with somebody that is as important as our quarterback is um, and as experienced as he is to be able to you know, put together a plan that, that we feel like is in his best interest and our team's best interest. So that's kind of where we're at with that. But I thought it was a great day for us. Uh, we got a day off tomorrow, but a lot of really good back and forth. I thought the defense had uh, a lot of really good things today. Bobby Wagner, you really felt his presence and his leadership, and, um, and Aaron is always a factor as well. Sure. Over the years, but um, what about him? And, and obviously, you, you guys run the live scout team. But what about him in a situation like this? Like, do you feel like you're getting the, the best work that you can get because he has so much experience in the system? I think so. You know, and I think you know, like anything else, Jordan. You know, the way that we would operate with Jor with John as opposed to Matthew. You know, there's still some foundational principles, but there's some things that maybe we would. Um, accentuate with the, you know, with his skill set. But I thought he did a nice job today. He really saw the field well, had some things that he's going to be able to learn from. But especially when you get into those competitive situations, you can't really simulate the type of rush uh, unless you're seeing those guys that, that we're having to block up front. Being able to work with Cooper, with Allen, being able to work with Cam and Daryl, you know, work with the linemen and, and be able to work their rapport, them getting to hear his cadence and how it's, you want it to be as rhythmic and as similar to Matthews, but there's some slight differences. So there's a lot that goes into it and I think there's a lot that, that can be gained for our football team as well. Is uh, Bam's knee issue related to the previous knee issue? It's actually a different, you know, so he responded really well from that one, Gary. So it is on the same knee, but it, but it's a little bit different area and it's a minor thing that we'll be able to clean up. So we're encouraged with it, you know, based on what, you know, you're worried, okay, could it be this? And so it did come back encouraging and, and I know he's uh, going to be back sooner than later. Do you expect him uh, available for the opener? And if, he's, if he is not, how, what are you going to do with the receiving core? It's a great question. I think, you know, that's up in the air right now. There's definitely a chance for that. Um, but we'll see how the surgery goes and, and kind of have a better feel. I, th I think it's, if anything, you know Van can play football. He's done it at a really high level for us going into year three. But this gives us an opportunity to really evaluate some of these other receivers. I've been really encouraged. Tutu had some good things that he did today. We know Ben Skoranek's played a lot of football for us on teams and even last year. Um, on the offensive side of the ball. And then I think Brandon Powell has really shown that he's capable of not only being a really good returner, but a capable receiver. So we'll look at those guys and then, you know, we'll continue to see uh, if we can figure out when Odell will come back at, at some point as well. <laughs> along, those, along those same lines, have you had a conversation with some of those guys with the news about Van Jefferson about, hey, now this is your opportunity. We know what Allen and we know what Cooper, what those guys are going to be able to do, but maybe that third receiver in those packages, that's an open spot for a lot of different guys to try and fill that hole. Yeah, I think it's really about guys maximizing on just playing to the best of their ability, you know, and they know, you know, what an important part of, of our offense van is. You definitely have those conversations ongoing, and, and as you guys know, football, there's so many different injuries that can occur day in and day out, and so you always have to be ready with the way that you approach your weekly rhythm and, and your really daily rhythm, and so all three of those guys have done a great job. Eric Yarber always does an outstanding job having guys ready to go, so they kind of know, but there's an ongoing communication that exists for sure. Are some a little more advanced because they've been in your system, though? I think so. I mean, I think you'd look at the comfort. There's no doubt about it with the amount of snaps that he's played and the, how conscientious and playing different spots. Ben's very comfortable playing in multiple positions. Tutu's getting more comfortable. And then, like I said, you know, Brandon Powell, we get him where he's a returner for us. Um, but he is a guy that he's got a skill set. He's just he's one of those guys, a great competitor, good football player. Seen really positive things from him from the slot. John, what are you seeing from the edge guys? I've been, you know, I think Leonard Floyd's been outstanding uh, from day one. He's really had a consistent camp, continuing to make his presence felt. And I've been really encouraged with Justin Hollins and Terrell Lewis. You know, both of those guys are doing a really nice job. They played really good football for us when you look back to prior to us getting Vaughn last year. Um, so, you know, those have been really good things. Those three guys have really stood out to me from the outside for position. Does Bobby factor into that equation? He does. You know, I think when you look at having two inside backers that have the ability to, you know, do a lot of different things, whether it's coverage, 
uh, the way that they play against the run and then their ability to be able to rush the passer. Um, the more that you can kind of try to be able to change the math in our favor offensively or in our favor defensively, that's going to be a really positive thing. And when you've got guys across the front and now two second level defenders and Bobby and Ernest who are real good matchups for us if we get you on a back when you're in some of your six man protections and they have the ability to even beat you know, guards and some of our different spacings. Um, that's a really positive thing, and, and that's one of the things that's made Bobby special. And I think you see Ernest, especially in the Super Bowl, made his presence felt as a blitzer as well. Couple more guys. Brandon Powell, just follow up. Joseph Moore shouted him out for his effort as well. And yeah. What can he explore? I mean, he's still learning the system on offense as well, but in terms of that work ethic and that that clip we all saw in the Super Bowl of him telling Matthew he wanted to make a play for him. Yeah. What can your younger guys who are fighting for that spot maybe even learn from somebody who is? I think maximize your ops. You know, I think it's our job to be able to create authentic competition and, and real situations where their skills can come to life. And then he's got to be ready when those times do come. And he certainly has answered the bell in a lot of ways. But it's just being ready, uh, having an approach that's, you know, a pro's pro mindset, whether it be in the meeting room and then when we come out here on the grass and you get a chance to earn a spot. And, and he certainly did that last year. And he's making his presence felt not only on special teams, but on offense as well. So back to two minutes when you had the ones out there and the clock stopped with six seconds left, you seemed to indicate, what did you guys call a timeout? We did, yeah, okay. so that was a situation right there where we were already in field goal range. I was saying, hey, let it get to under five, we'll take a timeout right there. So uh, sometimes you can't really tell exactly what scenario we're trying to reflect, but once we got into field goal range, anything else when we had a timeout left was positive, didn't want to take a negative. I thought John did a really good job of being able to manage that situation. I was saying, hey, I'll take a timeout under five seconds right there is what I was communicating to those guys. Last one, guys. You mentioned you had a good day today. What was different about today from other days? I think opportunities. You know, I think really, you know, you just look at, all right, being intentional about making sure that we get some plays and some things that he does well off. I thought he came and he was ready to go, and, and Coach Yarver and Coach Olson had him ready for, for his opportunities. Okay? Thank you, guys. Thanks, John.